If you're interested in Mahjong, you might like this video. I'm going to play solitaire, four hands at one time. This will give you a really good idea of what it's like to play the game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you don't miss anything. Let's play some solitaire. I have all my tiles out, and they're lined up in four walls. This will mimic a game between four players. We'll go ahead and deal the tiles. East will get 14, and all the other players will get 13. Okay, everyone's got their tiles. We're gonna say this is the East round. The game is played in four rounds. One for east, one for south, one for west, one for north. And everybody gets a chance to be the dealer. There's more information below the video. Just click on the link to the lesson playlist so you can learn about all the mechanics of the game. So we'll just say this player in front is east, this player is south, west, and north. So let's look at east hand and see what we could do for them. We'll say that there is a three fawn minimum. They have one flower. It's a number four flower and they're at seat one, so they won't get score for that. We'll get a replacement tile though. They got a nine crack. So they have more cracks than they do dots and bams. I think what I would do here is try for a half flush with cracks. They only have one pair. I'd start by throwing these dots and then probably head into the bams and hope to draw cracks. Let's see what we can do for south. Four flower. They can't do anything with that. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So they also have more cracks than they do dots and bams. I would say half flush for south. They have two pair here. They could pung those. Any pair is a potential pung. So that might be a nice scoring hand right there. Let's see what we can do for west. They have two flowers. One and a two. Nobody has their own flowers. Let's draw two replacement tiles for them. Okay. Okay, half flush. Bams honors. They do have two pair here and the east. This is the wind of the round, so that could bring them score. Even if it's not their seat wind, it's the wind of the round. So that could bring them score. I think I'd throw away the dots first. Let's see what we can do for north. For north, I would try for a half flush with dots and honors or all pung if they could pair up. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll throw away a one dot for east and we'll draw for south. Five bam. We want cracks. So let's go ahead and discard the one dot. Nobody acted on the one dot. So let's draw for west. Green dragon, ooh, that's nice. A pung of dragons is a fawn. Let's throw the one dot. And we'll draw for north, east. That's the wind of the round, I would hold it. Let's get rid of the five crack. And we can draw for east. Now if we're playing all cracks, we could chow that. Let's chow. Three, four, five. So there's a chow for east. We need a lot more cracks though. Let's throw the seven dot. 
and we'll draw for south. Three bam. We need cracks. Let's get rid of the six dot. And we can draw for west. One bam. Oh, that's good. Bams, that's what we want here. Let's get rid of the nine dot. And we can draw for north. Four dot, that's good. We need to get them to dots. So let's discard the one crack. And let's draw for east. East, that's their seat wind. Let's get rid of this two bam and draw for south. Five bam. Now that could be a, a good tile for pungs if they get another pair in here. We could maybe go for all three of a kind. Let's discard the seven dot. And we can draw for west. White dragon, oh, that's nice. So there's one, two, three, four pair. One, two, three, four, four blocks. And each of these has a fawn for every one of them if we can pung all those. Let's get rid of the seven crack and draw for player north here, this player. You would sit you might think, well, why not chow it? Seven, eight, nine. East cannot chow from west. You can only chow for three in a sequence from the player on your left. So we need to draw four north. Well, two dot, very good. Let's get rid of the one bam. So we have a two four, that's a good potential chow. Pair of fives, that's a good potential pung. Here's a pung, we need more dots or we need to pair these up so we can pung. So let's go ahead and draw for east. Four dot, that's a discard. Let's draw for south. Four bam. We have no discards out yet. They have one flower that is not theirs. We need three fawn from somewhere. So we need to get them to a half flush. They have a three, four, one, two, three, four, four, five. Let's get rid of the seven for south and draw for west. So west is in BAMs. They could pung that. But that would leave this nine completely isolated. We could use it though for potential chows. Not only that, but we have these valuable pairs here that we could pung. Let's go ahead and pung it for west. We'll pung the seven bam, and then we could pung all of these maybe. All we need is a pair in there. Let's get rid of the eight crack and we'll draw for north. Nine dot, that's a good tile because now we can chow maybe, pung, we could pung and chow. It would still be nice to pair some of these up. Let's get rid of the two bam. And let's draw for east. East, even though they could chow that, that would destroy their score. We're trying for cracks. Let's draw. There's a red dragon. That was a really good tile for them because that could bring them score. A pung of dragons is a fawn all by itself. Let's throw the three bam. And we can draw four south. They need cracks also. Four bam. Or we could switch them to all pung. Here's a pair, 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 pair. Let's see if we can get them to all pung. It's okay to mix suits with pungs. Let's go ahead and discard the three bam. And we can draw for west. Eight bam, eight bam. That's a good potential chow tile. 
let's discard the one BAM for west. And we can draw for north. Five dot. Ooh, that's a good tile. So we've got Pung and Chow potential in there. Let's get rid of the six BAM. And we can draw for east. Eight BAM. We need cracks. Let's discard the four BAM. Four BAM. And we're going to Pung it for south. We're going to try all Pung, all three of a kind. So we don't really need this one crack. We need to Pung, 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 and then we need a pair in here. So let's go ahead and draw for West. They're in BAMs. We did get a four BAM here. They could maybe Chow, Chow. Let's go ahead and get rid of the South. And we'll draw for, ooh, Pung. I almost missed that. And that's their seat wind south. So that'll be a point all by itself or a fawn, I should say. Okay. So now we have a potential pung here, potential pung here. We need a pair. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these dangerous tiles. The honors can be very dangerous because you can get score for those. Let's get rid of it. And we're going to pung for west with the white dragon. We need to pung these. So the seven BAMs are already out. So the chances of them getting this chow is pretty slim. Let's go ahead and discard the nine BAM. And we'll draw for north. Eight BAM, discard. And we can draw for east. Two dot, that's a discard. Let's draw for west, I mean south. North, north, that's not out yet. We need to get them to all pung. So none of that's going to be helpful. Let's go ahead and get rid of the west. Nobody can take a West, so we'll draw for West. Two dot, that's a discard for West. We can draw for North. Six dot, ooh, that's a good tile. They could maybe chow. We have two, four, five, six, pair of fives, eight, eight, nine, lots of chow potential. Let's go ahead and get rid of the white dragon. There's already a pung out there. So that was a nice safe tile for them. And we can draw for east. Oh crack, they needed that. Let's get rid of the eight bam. Eight bam. Nobody can take an eight bam, so we'll draw for south. Three crack, nice. Pair, let's get rid of the north. And nobody can take the north. So for south, we just need to pung, pung, pung. They already have two pungs out. So let's go ahead and draw for west. Six bam, very nice. Now they have a chow in here, which is fine. It's okay to mix chows and pungs in one suit with winds and dragons. That's called a half flush. That is a three fawn hand. We can throw the eight bam and they're ready to win on an east or a green dragon. Let's draw for north. Nine dot, that's a really good tile for them. And they have all scary tiles, very valuable tiles, but they're set up really nicely here with blocks, one, two, three, four, five. And this is a side weight, they can get either a four dot or a seven dot. And this is a closed weight. They could get a three dot in there. Let's see what's out. No, there's a white dragon out. No other honor tiles are out. So let's just throw the green dragon. 
green dragon and that's mahjong for west so here's their white dragon pung this is their pair you always got to have a pair and then they have a pung of seven bams and they have two flowers they're not their flowers though they needed a three flower so those won't give them any score but they have a half flush and two pungs of dragons. So this would be three fawn for half flesh, a fawn for the dragon here, and a fawn for the dragon there. So that's a five fawn hand. That's a really nice hand. I hope you got a good idea of what it's like to play Mahjong. It really is a lot like Remy. If you like card games, you would like Mahjong. And there are a lot of ways to play, 40 right now. 40 different ways to play this game. Really is a lot of fun. Look for the link to the lesson playlist below the video if you wanna learn how to play. And if you already know how to play, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.